Welcome to our YouTube channel art tutorial video. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step how to create your YouTube channel art or banner. I know this can seem like something that's really, really complicated. There's all these different image sizes. So you have one size that you upload to YouTube, but then it's only gonna show up a certain way on your phone, a different way on a tablet, and show more of the screen if you're on a computer. This seems super difficult, but as we create everything in Canva, you'll see that it's really, really easy. We're gonna be using Canva Pro, but you can do everything in this tutorial using the free version, except for one small step that you'll have to do on another website. But don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step as we go through this tutorial. If you wanna give Canva Pro a try for free for 45 days, you can check out the link down below in the description. This is our affiliate link, so if you sign up and later upgrade, we may earn a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. Now let's hop on the computer and create your banner. Okay, so when you sign into Canva, it's gonna look something like this. So to find the channel art, all you need to do is go to the search bar, type YouTube, and probably the top thing is the channel art. You can see the dimension, so 2560 by 1440. Let's click on this. So you can see within Canva, there are 576 templates, or you can create one from scratch. I recommend doing this because most of these are not set up right where the text, images, things like that are going to be cut off. So let me show you what I mean by that. So let's see the five popular kids games. Let's click on this one. So what I'm gonna show you how to do in the tutorial is you wanna to go to file and then show rulers so that you can figure out which is the area that you can actually use and is going to show up on YouTube. To show you the first one we're gonna add, if you go to 508, 507, this below this is gonna show, it's like this range right here. So five popular and then half of this word and then three of the kids' heads are being cut off. And this part isn't gonna show up as well. So again, just be really careful if you try to use one of their templates. Let's just go back to home, YouTube banner or channel art. So we don't, and so we don't have problems, let's start from scratch. For me, step one, change the background to our blue. So we already have the rulers, but if you just go to file, show rulers, you'll get them as well. Take this, and then the first one you want is at 508. These are only in three pixel increments, so you might not get exactly. So 509, that's close enough. And then 932 on the bottom. 933, okay. And then the vertical lines, let's start on the right-hand side with 2208. And we have 2053. Then we have 507. And then we have 353. I know I'm adding the ruler lines really quickly. If you want a list of all the lines I added, check out the description below. Okay, so this middle area will show up everywhere. These, This little piece right here will show up on tablets and on computers such as in Chrome, Safari, things like that will be the entire width. Now it's time to design. So what I would go to next is the, no, let's not go to elements, let's go to uploads. So let's go and add a picture. So maybe we wanna add this picture. And obviously you can see it would be cut off like right in the middle of my eyes right now. First, let's get rid of the background. So this is one of the things you're not able to do with the free version of Canva, but there are free tools where you can remove the background of images. I'll link to a tutorial right here but you can go to remove.bg, upload your photo, it'll get rid of the image, and then you can use the image without a background, just like I'm using with Canva Pro here. And so now let's change the dimension, so something like that, maybe like right here, and I don't want this part showing up, uh, so let's then click on, hold on, if I click off, click on, then I got crop, I can grab the corner, bring it up to here, click off. Now we have a cropped image. Maybe I want to be a little bit bigger, something like that. And then I would put myself along the side, maybe like so. Now the next thing I would do is add our logo. So again, with Canva Pro, you have a logo section or it will just show up if you upload it. Scroll down until you find your logo. Logos. Let's use our white logo here. That's a little too big. Maybe something like that. Let's add this right about there. That's good. Now, if you want to add text, you can either go to text right here, or I just like to hit T, and it gives you somewhere to write. So let's 
do cap lock best YouTube, best YouTube channel. Then this font, maybe I want it to be bold or that maybe even too thin. Let's go to open sans extra bold. Let's now move this right underneath our logo. You can see now it's aligned left. Now, if I grab this corner, I can make the text smaller so that it fits right underneath our logo. So it's the same width. So this part where it says best YouTube channel, I would have some type of a tagline here. So something that describes your channel. So someone coming to your channel immediately knows what your channel is about. Your logo, our name doesn't really tell you anything about what the content's about, but we say like best content for entrepreneurs or grow your business online or whatever we might want to put here. Then the next thing I would add is how frequently you plan on putting out content. So if it's new content every Wednesday, new videos every Tuesday and Thursday, a new video every month, whatever it is, just setting the expectations so someone knows, hey, this isn't just a channel with one video. They're gonna be putting out a lot of content. I better subscribe because this is the first thing someone's gonna see when they go to your channel page. Use this to help convince them to subscribe to your channel. So again, let's hit T for text and say new videos every Saturday. And so if we wanted to say differentiate this text from the other text, maybe we wanna add some type of background behind it. So to do that, what you could do is you could click on elements and then shapes. So do we want a kind of rectangular square like this? I think I want one with the rounded corners like so. So maybe I don't want red. Maybe that this could just be, what if we made this our green? And then let's shrink it down. Let's see. So sometimes you have to grab the corner and then sometimes you can move it kind of one dimension at a time. So we got something like that. It should be this wide to cover the text. Then one of the other things, if you click on any object like this and move it around, you can see the dotted lines showing you where it is in terms of alignment. So where I have it right now, you can see that it's perfectly aligned vertically and horizontally in the middle of this box. So that looks pretty good like that. I think it's a little bit too big. So what I can do is kind of a little bonus trick. If I highlight the things that are that I want, I can group them together. So now these things move as one object. So if I shrink it, the text and the box are gonna to shrink together. So I could do the same thing. I could then make sure, hey, it's aligned on the left side and then shrink it down so that it's aligned up right here vertically. Another thing as far as aligning different objects, if you, let's figure out where we want, oops, I can't, why don't you tell me I didn't type this? I typed videos wrong, videos. And then what we can do here is if we have the top and the bottom item more or less where we want it, maybe, logo down just a touch. If we highlight these three things now, if you go to position and then you go space vertically evenly, what's gonna happen is it's gonna put equal space between the logo and this text and equal space between this text and what's below it. So this is what's gonna show up on every single screen, the Figco Best YouTube channel, new videos every Saturday. The one thing you're gonna notice is on a computer, you have the little icon show up right around here for your social media. We have, for example, a free training to help you run YouTube. If you're interested in signing up for that, I'll put a link down below in the description. But if you're on the channel page, you'll see the icons over here. So we may wanna draw attention to people, not anyone visiting our channel page, just if they're on the computer. So we would add something along the sides here. So we may wanna hit T again for text. Let's pull the text up here. So we could have YouTube Rockstar Training, right? Something like that. And then maybe we have an arrow pointing down to the, the links down here. So one of the things that I don't really like, so if we look for lines or arrows, sorry, I don't really like any of the options for arrows that they have. This is what we have on our banner right now. But uh, if you wanna get creative here, what if we use a couple triangles? So if we take this triangle, we can grab this, turn it upside down, 180, like that, shrink it, and then what if we did maybe a little bigger? And then maybe we get two more of them, copy, control, command C, command V, and command V. So now we have three. Let's line them up like that. And then again, if we highlight all three of these, what we can do is go to position, uh, space evenly vertically. Did I already do that? It's not even letting me. I think I somehow align these well. Okay, 
And so I could say, hey, is white the color I want here? I don't know. Um, maybe I should edit one at a time. And then, so would it look better if they were green? How does that look? That's kind of interesting. So I think that would draw attention. Maybe I want to do, maybe if, I like how this one is on top of this one, so you only see this part, but this one is behind. So what I could do here is go to position, and then I could say forward. And then I have something like that, YouTube Rockstar Training, and that's going to point down to the training right there. So now you're going to know that this is what shows up to everyone. There's nothing new that someone's going to see if they're on a tablet. It's going to look pretty much the same. And then if someone's on their computer, they're going to see our YouTube Rockstar Training and an arrow down to the links here. So that's really the YouTube banner. Let's see what it looks like on YouTube. Then click on download, download. And to upload your banner, let me walk you through that really quickly. You want to go to your YouTube channel, click on customize channel, and then go to branding. From branding, so you he see here is your profile picture. Don't forget to add a YouTube watermark. We have a tutorial for that as well that I'll link to up above. And to change the banner, you're just going to click on change right here. Best YouTube channel. There we go. And then if I click on open. So here we go. Viewable on all devices is this right here. And then you can see on a desktop, you have the entire width. And then viewable on TV is this entire image, which, come on, who really goes to visit a YouTube channel on a TV is going to be mostly mobile and a little bit on a computer. If you're done, click on done right here and you're good to go. So if you're looking to grow your YouTube channel, we have a ton of videos to help you with that. I'll link to our playlist right here. Hope to see you in those and future videos. Bye-bye.